Hi all, coming on for my mini reading today. Um, for those of you who haven't seen me and I seem to go by, someone connected with me the other day. They saw it and heard that I did spiritual guidance and they reached out and we connected. I love that about this because um, she was in California and I'm here on the East Coast and that is pretty cool. Um, so energy goes everywhere and it, I, I love that. Um, we are all connected. This message is definitely for a collective. If any of this resonates um, with you, it doesn't have to be the whole thing. It's just a positive, loving confirmation that you have angels, your guides, your higher power universe is around you, and they're confirming what you need, that they're there, or maybe there's a message that you need. That's all this is about. I do do it privately. Privately, like I said, the, um, my email is in the description box. Um, I do put the initials and astrology signs and the message from the loved one uh, in the description box too. So you do not have to resonate with the whole thing, but like, you know, subscribe, share. And I, I love that. And for all the people that continue to follow me, um, you know, I went live yesterday and I forgot to thank them on TikTok, but I'll do that. Um, but thank you. I appreciate all who follow me. Um and comment because that's how this positivity spreads. We, we you know, get into the energy field, it's positive messages. Um, and once there's more connections, then something can come through for you. If, it, if it's meant for you, it will. Okay. The initials I got were D I M. I heard dimple. Someone has dimples. One dimple, right side. That's for somebody. Um, and then B. And then I heard J and O, but I also heard dibs. I call dibs. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but it's going to resonate with who it needs to. Um, not that you would say that about a person, but that, that I don't know. That's uh, it's something about that. Two people saw the person first. I have no idea. <laughs> There's a whole story there, but if it resonates, you can reach out. We can, you know maybe book a session because that's something else. Um, okay. The signs I got were Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. That is what's coming through. The message from the physical that from someone here physically that I got from a loved one. This is two separate. I got, I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. You knew they loved you. They never said it. it you had to move on. That was what you needed to do in the moment. That's that, that is what happened, but no, you were right about that. Um, and then someone has love everlasting and you are destined to union to come together. Okay. I got, um, also I do, I do energy healing too. So I made up some cards for myself that I was hoping to make into Oracle cards. I just haven't done that yet, but I wrote them up and I got manifesting so that's your root chakra um you have to start grounding yourself continue to ground yourself and i feel like there's further your manifestation and your transformation things are happening and something emotionally so try to clear which that could be part of what i got my message today was about you know going within and listen to the answers you can help learn to release what is no longer serving you so if there's an emotional block for, you, for this transformation to happen, you can learn to send love to yourself, ground yourself, do what makes you feel good, get grounded, go outside, the weather has been good, go outside, ground yourself, get in nature, whatever it is, sing, dance, whatever it is, that'll help you bang your feet on the floor, that grounds you, get that, that, that energy flowing through you, release what you need to, if you need to scream, then you need to scream, if it's an emotional thing, do what you need to do. You need to cry, whatever, just release it and let it go. I'm going to tell you how many times I've meditated and I would just start crying. And, and at that moment, not realizing, but later on it would come to me and, and I, it was very cleansing. Sometimes in the shower, <laughs> that's where I did a lot of times. I think we all do, but that's such cleansing. It's just the water. It's cleansing. Um, okay. So the part of the message was learning to go within. Learning to go within is so important, um, especially when you want to connect, when you want to see what's going on, when you're looking for answers. You know, we all, you know, everyone goes through things at, at different times. So if you can learn to practice, even if you do 
some type of type of just sitting still for 10 minutes, three times a day, whatever it is you need, but do it every day because that practice sitting still, because you learn it, it, you will learn, you will learn to just be able to go longer and, um, the answers will come in, but they don't always have to come in right at that moment. So don't beat up your don't beat up on yourself if something is not coming in during that meditation. You didn't not do it right. You did it right. You, you calmed your mind. You calmed your breathing. You you're allowing things to happen. So sometimes the answers come after that. Sometimes the answers come in signs, synchronicities. They'll come to you. Just trust that. You have to trust that and know it. But it definitely is all about practice. And I keep getting that. I got that a couple times here, something about practice and learning. The more you do it, the easier it becomes, the more confidence. I, I know, you know, I did, did this privately for a long time and I stepped out, you know, got guided to do the TikTok, got guided to do YouTube. And um, it was nerve wracking, you know, because I never did that before. And I'm, first of all, I don't like my picture taken. I don't like to be on camera. So it was very difficult um, for me, but I said, nope, I'm going to do it. Stepped out of my comfort zone. I continue to do it. And I will tell you, some days it's not easy. Some days I still feel like, oh, you know, I, I want to get the right message to you. But I, I trust it. I trust the, the guidance and, you know, because I do a lot of meditating before I come on here. Um, you know, I meditate for close to an hour. I exercise. That's a form of meditation for me too. Yoga, walking, all those things. I make sure that I'm in a good place before I come on here. So I make sure so that I know and I trust that I will get the right guidance that it is needed. I try not to rush it. I try, you know, I do my best. Some days I rush it, but it still comes through because, you know, it depends on what's going on in, in my world and what's, what's scheduled. But the more I've done it, the easier it's gotten. They've guided me to different ways to get you in more information quickly, like card. Like I never really worked with cards, but that it's I'm pulling the astrology signs and um, letters and all, and that helps. That helps me get through it. Um, it helps the messages to come in faster. So no, with everything that you do, it takes practice. Meditation takes practice. When you when you get a job, you don't know right away. It takes practice. Getting up in front of people it takes practice to make you more comfortable. I was a teacher, but it didn't matter. I still didn't like to be on here. Um, you know, but I, I did it and I love it. I love being able to reach people. I love when you comment. I, so know that you, it's absolutely what you're meant to do to try something new, try something new and know that it will take practice. You know, you don't always come out shining stars and everything is wonderful. No, practice, making mistakes, all of that. I mean, I'm still learning all this technology with this. I, I don't do all that right, but I'm okay because I know the message is coming through and you're getting what you need. Okay, so um, no, the more you do that, your soul will guide you. The more you practice of meditating, taking time for yourself, just sitting, just sit for 10 minutes. Try to just sit for 10 minutes. Each day you do it. Try to make it the same time. That energy, that place that you're at, make it the same place and it'll know. Your body, everything, it'll be a memory and it'll know, okay, I'm sitting here. This is time. I set that up, the communication with my spirit guys. I have my place. I know my candles go on. I'm ready. They know I'm ready and it comes through. So just take do that practice. Um, and it'll help you with moving forward because you where you need to go, what you need to do. Okay, and then I got some message, I don't know, something about trikes and bikes, all kinds of, all sorts of bikes and trikes, and I don't know, like to ride them, wasn't specific. So somebody has several different types of bikes or likes different bikes. I am, you know, they didn't, they were not specific, but it was about going fast, about going slow, about feeling that wind in, in your face on you and just releasing just release the stress. See, everybody does it differently. Everyone releases stress differently. Um, and that's pretty cool. But be safe is all I kept hearing too. So be safe. Um, and then I heard little tyke along with it. I mean, it was like rhyming, trike, bike, tyke. So it was definitely about someone when you were little, trikes, trucks, trikes, 
Maybe you had a trike when you were little. I don't know. Tricycle. I have no idea. I, I'm definitely about when it younger to older. And that's all about learning too. Think about that learning. You'd start on a tricycle. Then you slowly put the training wheels on the bicycle. So it's all about learning. You didn't do just jump on and know how to do it. It's all about learning. Um, learning new things, trying and not being afraid, just facing that fear straight on. But someone now drives the big trucks and it is hard work. Um, but be proud of yourself because you are doing, it may not seem like you are, but you are doing, you are doing good work. You are doing what you need to do because someone else won't do that, but you love it. And it's what you always wanted to do. That's what I'm getting. Someone's very proud of you. Um, something, and then I got something towards, something is coming in towards the end of the month and then I'm getting, it's good. It's part of an expansion somewhat. So someone must be doing spiritual work too. Um, it's going to be good and you're going to be expanding. So be ready for it towards the end of the month. It's a good thing. I'm getting continue to learn from others. The practice, the more you practice, the easier confidence, the more confidence you have with anything. The song I got was flow rider and the song is low. And I'm getting something about someone feeling low. Now, I know I love when that song comes. It's on my playlist, but when it comes on, I can't not dance. So, you know, it brings, that just brings you out of whatever lower vibration you're feeling, the down, whatever. But there's definitely something about that, something about him. It was a couple of his songs. I That one just stuck, you know, that stuck out more. So something about that, it will resonate with who it needs to. Um, please leave a comment. Love and blessings. Oh, I went long and I apologize. I went longer than I normally do. But leave a comment. Love and blessings and keep sparkling.